hey y'all it's just and welcome back for another video okay so today if you can see my hair it is dry like this is a dry crusty mess of hair it's matted it's dry and i just need to like do like something to my hair like so today i'm going to be doing the aztec clay mask with apple cider vinegar and i'm going to do a whole like process with that today it's going to take a few hours but i need my hair back um i've been doing wash and goes these past few styles and i don't feel like my hair is just as defined and i don't feel my hair is actually absorbing the products that normally work for my hair so i've been looking up and i've seen people do aztec clay masks on youtube before and i said oh okay i need a reset for my hair so let me do that because like i said a dry did you hear this a dry crusty mess like it's crusty is it's it's just it does not look good i'm not gonna lie so we're gonna go ahead and do that but first what's left of what i have i have the pre-poo the pre-poo by african pride like if y'all want to go and see that video i did that like over a year ago about me using this and it does work i used to pre-poo my hair religiously when i first went natural and i haven't in this past year just because my hair was able to maintain moisture but now it's going in backwards i don't know if it's winter that's doing my hair but i'm gonna stop rambling and we're gonna go ahead and get started with pre-pooing my hair with this then we're gonna go on with the mask so um yeah okay so this is how my hair is looking it's matted and dry and shrunken up so this is this is my hair in its full form okay so oh yeah So I barely had enough, so I had to make that stretch with some water. So um, I'm gonna let this set for like 15 or 30 minutes and then I'm gonna rinse it out in the sink and then come back and while I'm letting it sit, I'm gonna go ahead and make my my thing for my aztec clay mask so i'm gonna hook i'm gonna go ahead and make that like while it's sitting and then yeah we'll be back okay so you want to start with a plastic bowl and then here's the aztec clay mask container comes in in a plastic spoon as i just placed in the bowl i use coconut oil vitamin e oil and peppermint oil to stimulate the scalp I put about like five scoops in, but I later turned out to see that I need about seven to eight scoops or spoonfuls in the bowl to like really be enough for my hair because I really have thick hair. So yeah. And then I went in with the apple cider vinegar with the spoon first, and then I later went on 
with not using the spoon and just kind of eyed it along with the water eyeing it because I wanted it to get to a consistency that I preferred almost as if like a thick deep conditioner um and yeah and then I stirred it up till I got it to what I liked I used the vitamin E oil to strengthen my hair and then I used the coconut oil to soften my hair and the peppermint oil to get good scalp stimulation along with the mask so I feel like that helped a lot with the mask itself okay so I rinsed out the pre-poo I still have some hair residue and buildup from me actually like styling my hair like the week before which was last week so even though wet, my hair is damp um it still looks dry so um, my hair is looking like how it did when I was like first natural and I had to nurse my hair back to health or create moisture but like I said my products are not absorbing um my hair the pre-poo I feel like helped a little but I don't think my hair is really absorbing anything right now it really the purpose of it was to really detangle my hair if I didn't get any moisture out of it it was just to detangle but I'm gonna go ahead and part my hair and get ready to put on this Aztec clay mask. I already made it and I showed y'all what that process was looking like. So we're gonna go ahead and part my hair. And... Okay, so I did, I just sectioned my hair off right now. Like this, I feel like I need to trim soon. Like I need, I need to try my hair soon just because I feel like it's a little uneven and that will also help my hair too but as of right now we're gonna, gonna go ahead and just start on one section okay so like I said I made it it still looks good um, Hopefully I made enough, but if not, I'll just make some more. Um, I'm going to split this up to, I'm going to definitely want to get every piece of hair. Um, definitely want to get every piece of hair. So yeah, I didn't want to do it on like completely wet hair anyway. So maybe it's a good thing my hair didn't get that wet. I don't know. Okay, I like it. I think it's already working. Um, my hair is like really defined and this part of my hair doesn't get defined unless I use the do custard. <laughs> this side of my hair, no, it don't. It just don't, it don't. <laughs> So as you can see me applying the mask, you can definitely tell that I'm definitely focusing on getting the roots all the way down to the ends of my hair. I want to make sure that I'm getting every part of my hair so that it's all just uniform, all moisturized, all, it's just all together. So I definitely feel like the application wasn't hard if you know how to section your hair just go through each section and it'll go pretty fast um, and I really feel like it did work to define my hair and soften my hair just because of the oils that I put in it as well so you see I have half of my hair done and it's already kind of drying and I started on the next side and that side of my hair just 
I don't know, it just flows a lot easier. So it didn't take me as long as the first time. Even while styling my hair, it just goes that way too. But it wasn't long before I made my way to the top of my hair. And just to let you know, like, it is very messy applying the mask. Even though it's easy, it's just very messy. It just gets everywhere. All right, y'all, so I'm done. This part is pretty much dry. Like, you want it to harden a little bit. And you, I see actually some definition in the front, which is really hard for my hair to define in the front. Over here, you know, I just did it so it is, like, still, like, wet. Just to speed up the process, like, I'm going to blow up, dry my hair on this part of my hair just for it to, like, speed up drying and then, yeah, afterward, I'm going to like rinse it out in the shower this time just because I want to get everything out my hair as much as possible. Everything out my hair as much as possible and then go on my deep conditioner and deep condition. Alright, so we're all done with blow drying my hair, and now I'm just kind of looking at my hair while I rinse it out. Um, you want to make sure that you are literally rinsing out every nook and cranny of your hair and your scalp. But as you can tell, like, you can already see the definition with the water running through it. And it's looking good, and I'm looking at it, and I'm like, ooh, I should do this more often. But, yeah. Back to rinsing out, you want to make sure that you're rinsing out every nook and cranny because it is clay and when I feel like the more it is dry, the easier it will rinse out because when it's dry, it gets a little dusty and the water will just easily rinse it out. So if you are like not waiting for it to fully dry before you rinse it out, you have will have more difficulty taking it out or rinsing it out. It's already hard because you don't want any left in your hair, but if it's wet, it's just gonna like be stuck in your hair, like even more easier than it drying completely, if that makes sense. But yeah, after like I completely rinse it out, I'm gonna go ahead and section out my hair and just go in and make sure that my hair is prepared and sectioned enough for me to deep condition. So the deep conditioner that I'm using is the Hair Mask Treatment Coconut Shade Deep Conditioner by Eden Body Works. I definitely love all Eden Body Works deep conditioners and I definitely feel like it paired well in, in conjunction with the mask that I'm using in and out. So I know you haven't seen me use this brush before but it's the Unbrush and I will always live by it. Anytime that I'm deep conditioning my hair I will always use this brush because it definitely makes the tingling a lot easier than the tingle teaser. I feel like the tingle teaser is more for like when I get to the styling process and I want to detangle right before I go in with my styler but this one is just strictly for detangling and it works a lot better and faster. No this is not sponsored. This is something I buy with my own money. It's only ten dollars and we're done deep conditioning and I will come back to rinse it out. Okay, so I'm rinsing out my hair with cool water, not cold, not hot, but cool water, and I'm noticing my hair is really soft, and it looks very moisturized and defined, so I definitely feel like I will definitely be using this mask in my regimen, um, I definitely to help pop my curls and moisturize my hair. But that's about it, y'all. I'm just rinsing out my hair right now. Um, I know I've been going for a while with the long form content. I wanted to give you some more content. Life just be life. But I'll see y'all in my next video, y'all. Bye.